are skinwalkers real? Did my son have a run-in with one? I want to talk about this and see what the cards say. <laughs> so let's look. Hello my friends. Hi, it's me, D Sparta. Welcome to my channel. How are you doing? It is October. I love this time of the year. Fall is wonderful. I love the month of October. My wife and I got married in October and I think yeah, it's our fifteen is it our fifty I think yeah. Yeah, our fifteen year anniversary. Woohoo of being married. We've been together a little longer than that, about seventeen years. But yeah, <laughs> but what I want to talk about today, <laughs> skinwalkers. Now, I, I guess it was like a couple months ago or a month or so ago, I, a little over a month ago, I, in Discord, in the, um, the Discord server for this channel, <laughs> I shared an experience that my son had. It was freaking me out because I was communicating with him over his phone when it was happening, okay? My son, um, we, where did I live? I'm in Boise, but I'm up in the foothills, up in northern Boise, in the foothills. Um, th there's like, so it's the suburbs with farms all around me and livestock and animals. And so... And we're close to the um, river belt. So, the green belt and the river and everything. So, my son likes to um, sh just take, you know, rent a lime scooter and just come just go across to his friend's house and back at night. It's quick and easy. And he'll be along the green belt and... Sometimes he feels like something's watching him, and he gets a little spooked. Well, this one time, um, it got really weird, and he was texting me. He's like, Mom, I'm not... And this, this, it was in the middle of the night. And he's like, Mom, something's off. I there, I just... It's not right. I, I'm scared. Now, my son, not much scares him. Um... But he was scared, and she, she, he, he got things felt off, and he's like, "Mom, I don't hear anything." He's texting me. He's like doing a voice to text on his phone as he's scootering. Mom, um, it's it's quiet. Normally, you would hear. Some kind of you know, owls, um, animals, bugs, crickets. You would hear something out there. And there's no street lights. <laughs> and he's like, it's quiet. And then he's like, bum, I, I'm being watched. I feel I, I, something's not right. And it was then where he... Everything got quiet, and I didn't hear from him. And I was like, what's going on? And I was getting worried. And then he comes back, Mom, something came after me. My phone died. The scooter died. Everything froze. And I could see the eyes of this, and this creature, this animal, big animal, was coming towards him and he just I mean it scared him this was not a normal animal encounter that we're used to and then everything came back on and he was able to go Yeah, so everything it comes back on. He's go and he gets away. 
And, he, that, and it was afterwards he told me. He's like, Mom, was that a skinwalker? And I'm like, it might be. Okay, so we have that incident. And so he, he hasn't been real keen about going there, especially alone. So he'd go be with some friends. And um, going back and forth at night, you know, doing going visiting. He's kind of like, yeah, I don't know if I really want to go out there again. But he's kept noticing, he's like, wherever I go, he's like, it's, I, it's not been like this, but recently there's these tore up animal carcasses, you know, just different animals, just, you know, squirrels and cats and dogs. I mean, just, it's gross. And he, he was like, he took some pictures cause he was just like, this doesn't look right. Why am I keep finding this out here? Because, you know, we've been here for years and he's done this before and it's only till recently he started noticing all this. Now, I noticed, um, in that same area, people kept posting in the, you know, it was neighborhood social sites, media sites where people post things about what's going on in the neighborhood or if they've seen something or if they're offering something, you want to need some help. Well, people started commenting about a large, large dog. Like, somebody isn't, is letting this, this there's this dog for, loose at night. And he chases in, like, some women, you know, got chased and someone had to try and help, you know, came in and helped her, but they couldn't, you know, they, they were like, it's just this large animal dog. And people keep seeing this and having really horrifying experiences. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe this isn't a dog, folks. So I want... <laughs> this is Donna made it pull up my mic too close, so uh, I'm sorry about that. But, um, yeah, so I want to look into this. I mean, I start thinking maybe skinwalkers are real, and I keep flashing to an instance that I had when I was in college, and my friend Michael and I, he had an astronomy class, and we were going up, up in the L.A. mountains, in the L.A. forest area, okay? Because I'm from Los Angeles, okay? And we are going to get up there and look at the stars, but when we got up there, we had an instant scared the bejeebus out of us. I could see these eyes glowing and this... I mean, I could... The growl, I can't even... It was unearthly, <laughs> okay? I've grown up around all sorts of instances, you know, bears and deers and wolves and coyotes and mountain lions and, you, and even panthers. You know, I know what those sound like. I, I hear them all night long, you know, trying to sleep as they're howling to the moon and everything. You know, so this was not one of those. <laughs> We ran. I remember he just like grabbed my hand. He's like, God! We ran to his car, jumped in, and drove the fuck off. We were scared. We couldn't see what it was. We kept looking back. There was nothing there. But we know something was out there, but we couldn't see. Oh, my God. So I'm like, Oh, I wonder if, you know, I was having, you know, that's what I experienced. So, and it's Halloween month and spooky things. And people have asked me to do some kind of more of my supernatural readings. And I would love to do that, especially since I'm having some experiences, you know. <laughs> so if you made it this far, I'm sorry, I've just been rambling, but let's get into the tarot reading. Okay, 
let's get into the reading. I am, I'm a little nervous, you know. Just, yeah, it's a little like, okay. <sighs> so, let's see here. Man, it's these skinwalkers. I'm get I I did a little meditation before I turned the camera back on. And I was getting anger. Betrayal hating colonists. And was that Kind of, yeah, you know, so I'm definitely sensing like uh, this anger, this hatred, and wanting revenge and vengeance, but I think these have been around even before the colonists came to America, but this is some of these, I just, this is, it's, um, corrupted humans. And it's, I, I kind of get a feeling that some of them chose this. And it was like a coping, a way of coping, a way of, and taking power back. I'm a little crazy about it. A little crazy, but let me see here with my son. What was going on out here in Boise? What is going on? Because, yeah, my little neighborhood, everyone's like, mm. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Okay, let's see here. Show me what I need to see in these cards. Okay, folks. All right, the King of Wands. And in this deck, it's a little all different, but definitely like um, protector. Bold. Um, strong and the six cups reversed this is like you know you see it upright and there's this trans transitioning from child to parent you know kind of but and this is more spiritual stuff you know spiritual and it's six is a very spiritual number. Um, this is about leaving, being forced. Oh, okay. This is shit. Trusting someone they shouldn't have, who kept saying, "We're here to help." And the Eight of Pentacles um, wasted all their work. It was like they were betrayed. Um, this is the Knight of Wands. I was like trying to see another sword or a wand. I am legally blind, folks, so just bear with me. Um, the Knight of Wands here is reversed. And this is very reckless. This is anger. This is... Um, 
broken promises, empty promises given. It, it, they gave up so much. They were willing to give up hope, trying to benefit their own families here. Um, they thought this was going to be good for them, but it wasn't for them. Um, their happiness. They were wanting happiness. Ugh. But it was taken away. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, all the, the, you see, notice the pentacles are here, the cups are here. And these are both wands. Very interesting. Because that doesn't normally, you know, like, whoa, how is that matching up? But, you know, we got fire, water, earth. Um, this, normally, you know, you, you look at the Ten of Pentacles and it's like, yay, you know, you're celebrating your successes. But they were robbed. This is somebody who's been robbed. This is resources and stuff being taken from them, okay? This is not good. Uh, let's see here. And so, yeah, skinwalkers are real, okay? Are they around today? Did my son, what was going on with my son and, you know, out there? Okay. So, okay. Nine of Wands and the Emperor reversed. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're dealing with fire energy and reverse nine. This is it was a skinwalker. Um this this oof, oof. still trapped in the past. Still trapped in the past. Still trying to cling on to the past and causing terror. There's some, yeah, it, I, I think, yeah, my son did run into one whom is, <sighs> he's struggling that, that it, it, it's mind is gone. Um, It's, it's like it's not letting go of what's happened. Um, wanting, yeah, there, this is, this is real. There's, um, and I don't think it really was going to target my son. It scared my son, but he's running around. There is somebody in my neighborhood whom, um, hmm, I've, their ancestors have been in the area for a long time and betrayed the Native Americans. I, this, this, this guy here is like focused on trying to find I'm not sure how intelligent a skinwalker are, but I am getting a sense there are some that, you know, some go go crazy with the madness. But others, it's like what's driving them is stuff from the past and it's instinctual. And they want to fool people now. Ooh, I'm seeing something. Oh God, I'm gonna throw. Okay, I am. I'm seeing. It's showing me this human form that he likes to portray himself, and it's like dead in the eyes. Um, it's really unsettling. And it, it's... And what gets me is it's like an older white guy that it's portraying itself. That uh, it's showing me is 
Um, I don't get that. But I guess, you know, shape-shifting, skinwalker, shape-shifter maybe, a skinwalker wanting to try and lure, it's trying to lure someone, a family. It's making its presence known more and more. I think my neighbors, you guys gotta be careful out here. I don't know too much about skinwalkers or even shapeshifters, but I I'm gonna say these guys. This is this. The, yeah, my son could have very likely had a situation. Um meeting, you know, an encounter that has definitely scared him and changed his way. He's like, I'm not going to go out now. And he's kind of, he's really, um, like myself. He picks up on things easily, you know, walking in a room and it's like, going somewhere. You pick up on what's out here spiritually, what's going on. Uh, around us, and I, I see, you know, he's, he's, he's pay, trusting his intuition more and more, I think, after that experience. Well, if you like this little video, if you had any experiences like this, please share. I want to know. I mean, I always want to be skeptical because it's so hard to, it's like, this is really, but when you're faced with it, then you're like, huh. And I just remember that night with my son and going back and forth with him. It was scary. It was really scary. I was... So y'all be safe out there, okay? Don't whistle. I've heard you know, whistling is like, my son and I are like, okay, we can't whistle. We don't know how to, we, we've never been able to whistle, so we're fine with this one. Mm -mm. If you hear something whistling at you or calling your name, just, just go away. Don't, you know. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm tired. I've been up since one o'clock in the morning and it is only 10 in the morning. I'm a little delirious. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Hit the subscribe, notification bell, give me a thumbs up, let me know about your situations, and I will see you around. Bye!